Hey, what's going on everyone? Johnny Man here and welcome back to the very last time for Western Not So Super Mare. So um, I've decided obviously I'm not going to be continuing this save at all. It's been a good month since I last uploaded a later the video on this save and I haven't really touched it and I haven't really any interest in doing it. Uh, I mean, I know you, a lot of you out there haven't really been showing a lot of interest in it either. So I thought, you know, why not? Let's just wrap up things with the save and let's do a, a quick last video, review the save itself. And then uh, what I'm going to do is going to quit and I'm going to simulate to the end of the season and then we'll We'll see how well they did after I leave. Um, but first and foremost, let's talk about the uh, the save real quick and uh, we do job history overview. As you can see. So basically, it's been about uh, two and a half seasons in charge of Western Supermare. Um, obviously got off to a flyer. As you can see, we won the uh, uh, Vanuama National League South, which is a bit of a surprise on the first season. Um, as you can see, we were crowned champions, and I got uh, two man of the match, sorry, two man of the match, uh, two manager of the month awards uh, in that first season as well. Uh, obviously, in our first season in the Vanuama National League, we finished 12th, and then we are currently sitting in, uh, I believe, 16th place in the Van Rabe National League. Um, so overall, um, it's been a pretty, pretty good, pretty good career for me. Honestly, here I actually, I actually outperformed what I thought I was able to do with them uh, when I took over the club back in uh, the 16-17 season. Um, the team was predicted to finish in the lower half of the table, uh, so it was a bit of a shock when we uh, found ourselves ahead and uh, winning the league uh, by only by three points. Though I remember that being a little bit tough towards the end of the season. Um, mainly just because, I mean, I just, uh, players kind of fell asleep really, and Elliot Richards kind of carried us the rest of the way. Um, let's take a look at overall career stats, though. Um, so 119 games in charge, 156 of them. Uh, drew 22, lost 41. Uh, 198 goals, 164 against. So we're looking at about 1.7-ish goals a game, and then conceding. Uh, about 1.6 so it's pretty close really goal difference of plus 34 and a win percentage of 47 percent um so obviously no relegations one promotion all that good stuff uh let's take a, a highest piece uh, highest fee spent was for for hard we next spent any money at my time um highest fee received was 3.5 million for dale grubb um who actually went to a free transfer yeah we saw him to tns for 3.5 and um, yeah, he wins a play for Stockport, then he uh, gets a free transfer now, so he hasn't really done much of his career. Um, so he bought 46 players, total value of £140, and sold 9 players with value of 47.5. So that's really good, obviously it's really good business um, as far as uh, finances go there. Uh, total career earnings, uh, £43,000 in total career earnings. That's not a bad wage for a London League team, is it? Two and a half years, 43000 quid. Um, get total game time 866 days. That's really not much more to talk about there. Um, let's go to Western Super Mario real quick and take a look at their overall best 11. Now, this best 11 obviously is um, to do with pretty much since I took over. Um, you know, as uh, as manager Western Super Mayor. So obviously they've gone for the 4-3-3. I have to say I, I actually completely agree that it has to be a 4-3-3. That one is promotion. Um, but then moving to the top division, I had to change things around a little bit. Uh, top division, sorry, Van Arma National League. I had to change things around, change my style of play because I was being too exposed, especially at the back. Uh, so that was, I mean, uh, so yeah, I mean, obviously the 4-3-3 was their preferred formation. And apparently this is my best 11. Uh, Luke Purnell, who's currently playing for Airbus UK after he left us on a free transfer. Uh, as you can see, he played tons of games for us. A uh, really good goalkeeper. Um, Sakani Simpson, he's now a manager, believe it or not. Hasn't got a job. Um, but after he left us, he retired. So, yeah, a little bit surprising because last season he did play, um, well, the last season on the Van Armas National South for us. Uh, he played 21 games, got four assists, had a pretty solid season. Uh, then Daniel Devine, who's still currently with the club, uh, signed on the free transfer. Uh, first season in the Vamo National, really, really solid defender, uh, notched in a couple goals. Then uh, Joe Steele, um, he's now playing for Maidenhead after you released him over the summer. Uh, he was uh, just a really, really good, solid centre-half for this level. Um, as you can see, he got seven Man of the Match awards in the uh, season we promoted. Uh, now, Fanny Roturn or Pounty is our best left back. He's still at the club right now. Uh, signed him on a free transfer from Torquay when we got promoted. Uh, midfield, got Sakuna. Um, now playing for Truro. 
after he released him during the summer. Um, he actually had a really good year last year from the Vanarama National League. He's got a three goals, three assists, average rating of 7.03 um, after his first season, which primarily uses a rotation player. Um, but then he kind of came into his own. Um, I just like the fact he was willing to play any kind of role. Not not a problem in the squad. He wanted to sit on the bench and just come off the bench. So, I mean, he was just a, yeah, he was, he was a good player. Uh, then we got Dan Sweeney. Um, too bad I never got all the best of this guy. Um, and he signed for us, uh, obviously, last season. Um, and our first season of Vanuatu National. Got eight assists. Um, really, really poor this season. As you can see, zero goals, zero assists to his name. Um, it was with partner my James Fitzgerald. Yep, one of my favorite players in the save, without a doubt. Uh, still with the club. Still playing pretty, pretty much in the squad rotation. Uh, he was he was exceptional the first season. Now his his stats don't show that, but first season he was Mister Reliable. I can count on him week in week out to turn up and put in a good a solid shift. And let's go to our strikers. Uh, Dale Southwell is the first one. Uh, he currently actually doesn't even have a club. Um, he signed for us on loan last season. He pretty much. Uh, shot us up the table in the Vanuatu National League. We needed him after losing Elliot Richard the season before. And as you can see, really, really good season. 34 goals overall in, 30, in 45 starts. He was an absolute machine. Um, I tried to sign him most recently, but he wanted way, way too much money. And there was no way that was going to happen. So unfortunately, we couldn't bring him back. But he was by far probably our most successful striker. Alongside, of course, Elliot Richards, who's still playing for Gateshead. He left us on a free transfer. He was always on an amateur deal, so knew I was going to lose him. But if it wasn't for him, we would not got, we wouldn't have got promoted. Um, he notched up 30 goals and 48 appearances, and he was pivotal, uh, pivotal playing that uh, deep line forward role up top. Um, and he's partnered by James Jenkins, who's not really a striker, but he goes into this 4-3-3 system. Uh, obviously as a striker he primarily played in the hole last season in uh, behind the front two uh, as you can see 11 goals 13 assists um, average rate of 7.27 for the season he was just absolutely amazing um, unfortunately he hasn't really been able to capture recapture that form this season uh, so far uh, but nevertheless he was so good in that season I've got to include him in the overall best 11 so on the bench then you got Will Brett, just a backup goalkeeper that hasn't played seven games with the club. Uh, Jamie Horncastle, who is now playing for Staines, he was really good, struck up a really good partnership with Joe Steele on that first season. Uh, then we have uh, Perry Ryan, a uh, creative uh, uh, playmaker in midfield. Um, solid, really solid. Um, didn't didn't get didn't get many goals or assists. I thought he might. Uh, but nevertheless, he was a, it was an important player in that promotion season. Uh, then we have Aaron Williams, who played for us last season. He partnered uh, Southwell up top, target man poacher role. Um, again, he had a really good season too alongside Southwell. He notched up 16 goals and 12 assists. He went, went through some barren spells. Disappointed he couldn't score more, but uh, nevertheless, a uh, really good player to have in the team. Uh, then we have uh, Tom Meachin. Um, unfortunately, when he went to... He went back to Newport briefly, and then unfortunately he retired. And I can't see too much about him, but he was he was an important player for us in that promotion season. Uh, then we have Chris Barker. Um, he's now a coach at the club, a uh, left back. He was uh, pretty much starting left back for the promotion season. Uh, he kind of tailed off towards the uh, end of the season because he lost all his pace and um, it didn't really it really got exposed. Uh, then we have Jake Watkins, uh, another striker who's still with the club, believe it or not. Uh, hasn't been played many games since we got promoted. Only two in that Van Rama National League. And even in the first season, he only notched up seven goals. But he was uh, he was reliable to play alongside uh, Elliot Richards. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's our kind of overall best 11. Um, not very interesting stuff, really. Uh, let's uh, take a look at uh, some of the finances and stuff like that. Let's do that. Uh, finances, there you go. So um, I took over the club, obviously, in June of 2016. And it's been a bit of an up and down situation for me. It's been a real struggle to try and keep the club uh, making money and keep us in the black. And right now we're currently at a minus £17,666, which uh, by all... By all by all like things I considered, that it really isn't that bad. Uh, we were much much lower at one point. I managed to bring us back up through some shrewd sellings, uh, selling of players and things like that. But overall, it's been a real real tough battle to manage a debt and try and bring in quality talent. Yeah, that's I mean that's part of the challenge of being a lower league team. 
but obviously uh, I'd struggle to bring in the quality of player, to be honest with you. And I think that's a lot of it goes down to the reputation of the club itself as well. Uh, the reputation hasn't really improved since I took over. Uh, I went from maybe a half star to a full star, but we're trying to compete with sign players with teams that are like one and a half star, two star, you know, quality of clubs. Um, if you look at the projection as well, the projection is due to go down quite heavily. Um, so obviously that was a big part of why I'm not going to continue this save. Uh, because, you know, I could play it in the background as my own personal save, but honestly, I, I've kind of lost all interest in it. Um, it's just been too too much of a difficult situation for me right now because I'm obviously trying to do my championship manager save and I'm trying to do uh, my Southampton save and I just completed the Leicester save as well. So, I mean, to put that much effort into something to try and correct it, um, it's not really in my best interest considering that FM18 is on its way out. So I'm trying to enjoy my last few months on a football manager 2017 and uh, being a manager of Western Supermare um isn't exactly something i consider fun um but anyway uh let's go ahead and let's just get this business over nowhere so what i'm going to do is i am going to retire as manager uh and then what we're going to do now is we are going to simulate uh pretty much uh to the end of the season and then we're going to catch up with uh western supermare again and let's see how well they do at the end of the season just just out of interest really again um obviously western super though he is like uh uh danny hall apparently is going to take over as caretaker manager not surprised wouldn't be surprised when he gets the full-time job he's got some really good attributes there uh, but anyway so we're going to skip to the end of the season and let's take a look at how well western super Mayor did after i left Okay, so at the end of the season now, um, let's go check out, see how West the Superman did after my sudden and abrupt departure. All right, so West the Superman, they finished 15th in the table. So uh, yeah, that looks like a pretty solid campaign. Let's see what happened after I left. Who was their top goal scorer? Of course it was Josh Cook. Couldn't score a goal under me, but as soon as I leave, he smashes in 16 goals for the season. Uh, Connor Harris finished on 14. We sweater burn got nine. Kane Smith actually had an absolute blinder of a season from a right back. Seven goals, four assists, average rating 7.03. Really good season for him. Uh, Herson Alves, six goals, eight assists. Uh, Tom Conlon really turned it up. He got 13 assists at the end of the season. Um, let's see what else happened, shall we? Um, let's see if they sign any players off the left. They must have signed a few players. Uh, yep, they basically brought in two loanies. First of all, Harry Pickering. Can't see really how good he is. And then uh, George Roberts, who's on loan from Cardiff. And it looks like he was the first choice keeper for the rest of the year. Um, had a pretty good season there. 32 goals conceded and 28 appearances. So looking pretty good there. Uh, leaving the club. It looks like after we re-signed uh, Dion McFoy Johnson, they went ahead and released him again. Okay. Uh, they also looks like they released uh, Jake Watkins to Dorchester on a free transfer as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, that, obviously they've done okay since I left. Um, finances says they're okay as well, so maybe that's improving for them. Um, but overall, uh, yeah, so looks like I did okay after I left. So there you have it. Didn't miss me at all. Um, but anyway, to wrap up this save, uh, I'm going to give myself as a manager, I'm going to give myself as a C plus. Now, uh, the reason I'm giving myself a C plus is that obviously uh, winning the, in the uh, Vanarama National South in the first, uh, sorry, in the first uh, attempt. Uh, was obviously quite an achievement, especially for a team that wasn't really predicted to do very well. Um, <clears throat> the 4 3 formation I came up with worked absolute blinder. It worked really well for me. Um, when I got to the Vano National League, I quickly found that the uh, the club and myself, to some extent, was a little bit out of out out of our depth. To be honest with you, um, I didn't prepare the team as best I could, and for the last the season and a half, we were playing catch up. And obviously, it's a very difficult thing to do uh, when you're trying to produce it as a kind of a upload series like I am because you don't really have a lot of time to sit there and work out all the nitty gritties and play through every single thing because you, you got a deadline to me as far as uploading goes um, so obviously it's disappointing that um, the series didn't really continue in the way I wanted it to um, and that felt like it was partly my fault from going in and out of the save so that's what kind of why I gave me a self, myself a C um, I made some poor signings I mean the, the, my issue with that the first the, first, the second the, th the, th 
I'd say the first summer transfer window that we got after we got promoted, um, I bought and loaded players that looked good on paper, but really lacking some of the key attributes that I needed to push the club up to the next level. I didn't pay attention enough to likes of determination, work work rate, uh, the physical attribute side of things. I was looking more at the technical. And at this league, in this division, this level, you have to take into physicals, into um into consideration because if you don't you're going to get outplayed and out muscle and that happened a lot in the first season of the uh, Vanuawa National League campaign I mean I kind of worked it out um, as the season kind of progressed I finally kind of changed and morphed the squad into a team that was going to be able to compete and that's why we ended up in 12th position uh, then going into the summer um, I, try, I mean our wage budget went up a little bit but not enough for us to be able to make the leap from 12th into um, a potential playoff con- uh, contenders and again Again, it would have taken me far too many years, far too many seasons for us to be anywhere near competitive as I would have liked. And that's partly down to um, me not setting up the squad for success when we got promoted. So um, overall, again, give myself a C, C plus maybe um, if I was going to feel generous. Um, overall, I've enjoyed the save, of course, um, kind of kind of like petered out towards the end. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the save as well. Uh, what do you guys have for your favorite moment of the save? Mine, of course, was winning the league in the uh, Vanarama South League. Uh, my favorite player of the series um, has got to go out to uh, Mr. James Jenkins, who I think is still with the club. It should be should be still with the club, to be honest with you. So yeah, he gets the uh, player of the series uh, alongside, of course, uh, Elliot Richards as well. Um, so yeah. There you have it. That's going to wrap up the uh, the save. Uh, yep, just wanted to make sure that I finish it after the last video saying the series is not going to be continuing at all ever again. And I wanted to wrap it up kind of in a nice, neat little bow, even though this has not really been my best work. It's currently about three o'clock in the morning here, so um, I'm a little bit tired, so I'm not thinking completely straight. But nevertheless, I wanted to throw a video out there just to... Uh, just to complete this series but uh thank you guys so so much for watching uh the series and support for my channel is still growing and growing strong fm18 is just around the corner for the meantime please enjoy uh my saint save and obviously my championship manager series if you uh, want to enter the competition for fm18 please make sure you do so before september 27th uh, details are going to be on the uh the fearless foxes uh, um, introduction episode uh you'll find that in on my home page of the channel but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.